Oh, yeah. Perfect song for what we're about to talk about here. 837 right now. Falcons fans looking for something a little sweet have a tasty new option this year. If you've been to the Georgia Dome this season, you've probably seen the two Delights by Dawn stands. But you might not know the inspiring story behind Delights by Dawn. That's where we come in because we brought Dawn here. This is Dawn <laughs> Belisle. It is so good to see you. It's good to see you, too. Well, first of all, thank you for brightening my day with cupcakes. <laughs> this is what I wanted to see on a Friday morning. Cupcakes make anyone happy. I agree with you, and yours especially. Let's talk about your story so people might look at you and say, okay, so she's a baker. She's a Correct. pastry chef. But that's not really what your primary job is. What What is your story? I am a criminal defense attorney. Now, so how did this happen? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Where did that connection happen? I have been an attorney now for 19 years. Yeah. And um, I know people wouldn't think if they saw me in the courtroom that, you know, I'm crafty or, you know, domesticated. Right. But right. Um, I've always baked mm -hmm. and I've always cooked. I like to entertain. So I love to always cook and mm -hmm. feed and, and bake for friends and, and have, you know, functions. And so I've always done it. I learned it from my mom. She was like that. And so at what point did you decide, you know what, this is a hobby. Mm -hmm. Let's start to make it a little bit of a business. Well, years ago, what would happen is, uh, of course, friends would say, well, you know, I started with one rum cake because I actually make alcohol infused cakes right. also. Okay. And that one rum cake and people just, you know, when they were having something, they would like, oh, can we get one of the cakes? We'll pay you. Mm -hmm. So then I kind of started thinking, okay, right. you know, let's see what <laughs> can happen. Yeah. And I did that and added a few more cakes on and I started out doing the alcohol infused cakes. So, okay. Like maybe back in 1998. Probably. And it's grown to this where yes. now you're in the Georgia Dome. So let's talk about that. You sell your cupcakes at the Georgia Dome yes. and what sets these cupcakes apart is the fact that they are alcohol infused. Yes, they are. They so are fantastic. What are some of the samples that you brought today? For example, let's start over okay. here. What are these? Um, those are a couple of the flavors that I do sell at the Dome. Okay. There's a chocolate cherry bourbon. Oh. Yes. And that is a chocolate cupcake with uh, cherry bourbon and the buttercream frosting also has bourbon in it. Oh my gosh. And then the strawberry colada is a strawberry cupcake with strawberry colada vodka and the buttercream frosting has a tad of vodka and pineapple wow. flavoring. So basically it doesn't really matter what happens on the field this season. <laughs> you will leave the dome happy even if the Falcons flail. Let's move over here. These look amazing. I love the decorations. I mean do you really do all of this yes, yourself? Yes I do. And that's the thing that I love because you know after a long day, probably in court, people right. are like, how do you go home? Because once I start decorating, it's my creative sure. side, I just get in a zone that is just... This is your outlet. This is my outlet. I love that. Yes. So what, what are these cupcakes? These here? cupcakes I've decorated more for like the weddings because people mm -hmm. these days are going to the cupcake tiers. Rather either, than the big... Right. Yes. Or along with. And so these are decorations that can be done for weddings. And this particular cupcake is a white almond with a white chocolate buttercream frosting. Wow. And there's amaretto in that cupcake. Wonderful. <laughs> Can, with the, the moaning going on from, but stay over there. You, this is my segment. This is not yours. These are for me. So I want to ask you real quick, and we'll talk more about this next okay. hour, but it, what is your advice for other people out there who have a passion and think, you know what, I, I would love for this to be my business. I want to turn this into something bigger. What's the key to success? I will have to say you have to really, really really believe in. It has to really be your passion. Mm -hmm. um, I have a 20 year old. He's in college. He has a passion because I know how I am with my passion. I definitely support him and right. his passion is music. But I would have to say you have to keep at it. Don't take no. There are a lot of bumps in the road mm -hmm. and you just really you have to work hard at it. If it really is your passion and you want to make it your dream come mm -hmm. true, a business, you've got to work. I do a double, sometimes triple shift. Wow. Yeah. But look where you are now exactly. in the Georgia Dome and fantastic. Yeah. Well, stick around. Okay. Because in the next hour, I'm going to sample some Delights by Dawn. I'm not doing it now because they are alcohol infused, and I have a few weather forecasts to get through first. But who cares about the 9 o'clock show? So, guys, back to you. It's hot, right? All you got to say is... You know what? I mean, come on. At this point, everybody already knows what the weather's going to be.